Hello students. Today we are going to solve Staff Selection Commission Stenograph for Exam Grade C and D. Staff Selection Commission SSC Stenograph for Exam. Stenograph for Grade C and D paper. 17th November 2022 Shift 2 paper. Shift 2 paper. A very best of luck to you all before we start. If you want to practice all the questions from this paper, please visit our website www.examsnet.com. You can also download our app. The link is given in the description box. Let's begin with question number one. Given below are two statements and two conclusions. Take the statements to be true even if they, they are at variance with commonly known facts and decide whether the conclusions follow the given statements or not. Right. So here are two statements followed by two conclusions. Right. Let us represent these statements in the form of Venn diagram. Right. Later we can decide which of the given conclusions logically follows the given statements. Right. So here the first statement says all eyes are noses. So we'll consider two sets, a set of eyes and set of noses. Right. All eyes are noses means if this is set of eyes, right, set of eyes completely included in set of noses. So all eyes are noses. Right. And the second statement is some noses are lips. So some portion of the noses set of noses is so this shaded portion. Right. Represents a second statement. Right. Therefore, so this set is a set of lips so that some noses are lips. Right. Now come to the conclusion part. Some noses are eyes. Some part of the noses is which I am showing now the shaded portion which is nothing but set of eyes, right? So some noses are eyes. It's a true conclusion, right? Or second one, all lips are noses. So it is given that some noses are lips. So it is understood that some lips are noses, right? So only some portion of the lips are noses because of second statement, right? Therefore, all lips are noses. It's a false conclusion. False conclusion because only only some lips are noses some lips are noses therefore second conclusion is a false one therefore only conclusion one follows option a is the right answer question number two Three statements are given followed by three conclusions numbered 1, 2 and 3. Assuming the statements to be true even if they seem to be at variance with commonly known facts. Decide which of the conclusions logically follow from the statements. Here are three statements given as in the previous question. So based on the given statements we have to decide which of the given conclusions logically follows the given follows from the given statements right so let us represent the given statements in the form of venn diagram right so first one no rain is an earthquake there is no relation between set of rain and set of earthquake right therefore we will consider set of rain and set of earthquake like this set of earthquake so, no rain is an earthquake. And the second statement, all rains are floods. That means every portion of rain is floods, right? That means set of rains is completely included in set of floods. This is set of floods. So, all rains are floods. And the third one, some rains are droughts. Some rains are droughts means we will consider set of droughts like this. So, some portion of the set of rains is a flood. This portion is right, right. Some rains are droughts. So, this is third statement, right. So, now come to the conclusion part. Some floods are earthquake. Some floods are earthquake. So, here according to the given statements, there is no relation between floods and earthquake, right. So, it's a false conclusion. The reason is there is no relation between no relation between floods and earthquake. 
earthquake. But it can be possible, right? So instead of taking a set of floods like this, it can be possible, right? So this is statement one, no rain is, sorry, uh, second statement, all rains are floods. This is second statement. It is given that no rain is an earthquake. But if you include set of earthquake like this, right so here also statement statement to one and two right both the statements will get satisfied no rain is an earthquake there is no relation between rain and earthquake here in the second venn diagram right second venn diagram and all rains are floods so the second statement also will get satisfied right so in such a case it is possible but it is possible it is possible but according to the given statement, there is no relation between flood and earthquake. Therefore, first conclusion is a false one. Some floods are earthquakes. It's a false conclusion. And the second one, some droughts are earthquakes. So now look at the first Venn diagram. Some droughts are earthquakes. So there is no relation between set of earthquake and droughts. So therefore, the same reason, a false conclusion. No relation between droughts and earthquakes. And the third one, third conclusion is some floods are droughts. So here, since set of rains completely included in set of floods, this common portion I am showing now, the shaded portion, right, indicates some floods are droughts because some rains are droughts, right? Therefore, it's a true conclusion because, because statement because of statement 3. Since some rains are droughts, so set of rains completely included in set of floods. Therefore, some floods are droughts. Right? Hence, only conclusion 3 follows. Option C is the right answer. Question number 3. If A denotes plus, B denotes into, C denotes minus, D denotes divided by, then what will come in place of the question mark in the following equation? Here is the given equation. We will write the given equation as 196D. So here D denotes divided by, right, 196D. So inside the bracket we have 2A. Here A denotes plus. It becomes 2 plus 3B. B denotes into 4. Close the bracket is equal to 4 question mark. So, what will come in place of question mark? So, whether A, B, C or D that we have to decide which operation should be included here, right? So, we will write the question mark as it is. So, 5 here B, B denotes into 2, right? Let us check the left hand side part now, right? LHS becomes a so, according to Bodma's rule, so while solving any equation or any mathematical expression, so we are using Bodma's rule, right? So, according to which, first we have to remove the bracket. B denotes the bracket part, right? So, 196 divided by, so in order to remove the bracket, we have to go for the operations uh, inside the brackets. So, which are addition and multiplication in the left hand side, right? So, here the order of solving the mathematical operations is a first division, multiplication, addition and subtraction according to Bodmas rule, right? So, here we need to go for multiplication first. So, 2 plus 3 into 4 is 12. Therefore, 196 divided by 12 plus 2 is 14, right? Therefore, since 14 into 14 is 196, right? So, left hand side is 14. Now, come to the right hand side part. So, 4 question mark 5 into 2 is equal to 14, right? So, left hand side is equal to right hand side, right? Therefore, 14 is equal to 4 question mark 5 into 2, right? According to Bodmas rule, multiplication comes first before addition and subtraction so that 4 plus 5 into 2 becomes so 4 plus 10 which is 14. Therefore, the operation here is in the right hand side part is addition. Right? Addition. 
therefore addition means here so which letter indicates addition a denotes addition right it is given that therefore in the given mathematical expression or equation it should be 4a5 4a5 b2 right so in place of question mark it should be a option a is the right answer Question number four. Select the set in which the numbers are related in the same way as are the numbers of the following set. Here is a note that operation should be performed on the whole numbers. For example, if you consider 13 as the number, so operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, right? These mathematical operations should be done on the whole number, right? You should not divide the number 13 into its constituent, constituent digits like so you cannot take 1 plus 3 right mathematical operation on 1 plus 1 and 3 separately right it should be taken as 13 plus on the whole numbers you have to take the mathematical operations right keeping this in our mind we'll consider the given two sets right so the first set is 17 34 68 and the second one is 24 48 96 so in each set the numbers of the given the given sets are related as so here if you consider first set 17 34 68 first set first number first number is a 17 right and the second number second number is 34 which is nothing but 17 into 2 right 17 into 2 is 34 whereas the third number is 68 so which is nothing but 34 right into 2 you can take it as 34 into 2 is 68 Therefore, here the simple rule is, so first number is as it is, second number is first number into 2, right? Second number is nothing but first number into 2. I will write here itself, first number into 2 and the third number is second number into 2. Second number into 2, very simple logic, right? If you consider the second set also, here the first number will write as it is 24, second number is 24 into 2 which is 48 first number into 2 right whereas the third number is second number into 2 which is 96 very simple logic right so among given among the given four options which option follows the same logic that we have to find right so we'll consider the first one the first set of numbers 31 62 106 according to the rule so second number should be yes 60 first number i'll write here itself so, option A, so first number is 31, second number is, third. it should be 31 into 2, which is 62, which is right, and the third number should be 62 into 2, which is 124. It is given that it is 106, therefore, option A doesn't follow the same logic, right? So, here consider option B. So, according to which first number is 26, second number should be 26 into 2, which is 52, which is right, right? And the third number is, it should be second number into 2, which is 104. Am I right? 104. 52 into 2 is 104. Therefore, option B is not the answer, right? So, option C. According to which first number is 21, second number should be 20, sorry, 29. 29 into 2 is 58 which is right, right? So in option C, we have 2958 and the third number should be second number into two, which is 116. Therefore, option C follows the same logic, right? In which second number is twice of first number and third number is twice of second number, right? Therefore, option C is the right answer. Question number five. Seven people I, Y, O, U, R, B, and T are sitting in a straight row facing north. P sits at the extreme right. Only six people sit to the right of R. Y sits fourth to the left of P. T is the immediate neighbor of R and I sits fourth to the right of R. U and T are the immediate neighbors of Y and O is the immediate neighbor of P who sits at the center of the row is the question, right? So here we'll consider seven people are sitting in a straight row, right? Facing north. We'll consider north direction. P sits at the extreme right. So at the extreme right means 
so this direction so p sits at the extreme right p is the last person right or first person to the right right and only six people sit to the right of r so if r is sitting here means six people are sitting to the right of r so one two three four five and six person is p since uh, together it is seven persons seven people right totally seven people are sitting in a row therefore so r is the first person from left right so that six persons can accommodate to the right of r and six persons can accommodate to the left of p right next right so only six people sit to the right of r and the third point y sits the fourth to the left of p to the left of p means this direction right so y sits fourth to the left of p first second third and fourth person is y to the left of p right next t is the immediate neighbor of r since r sits at the extreme left end so second person is t who is the immediate neighbor of r right and i sits the fourth to the right of r so to the right of r means this direction one two three fourth person is i and u and t are the immediate neighbors of y u and t are immediate neighbors of y right therefore u is the fourth person and next o is the immediate neighbor of p yes o is the last but one person or second person from right end right and the question is who sits at the center of the row at the center of the row so is nothing but fourth person right so one two three fourth person is the person who is sitting at the center who is you right you sits at the center of the row so option c is the right answer Question number six. Select the set in which the numbers are related in the same way as the numbers of the given sets. Right? As in the previous questions here also. So, operation should be performed on the whole numbers. Right? You should not break down the number into its constant digits. Right? Then, here the first set. So, it contains three different numbers. 339, 440 and 541. Right? So, the numbers are related as. So, here the first number is 339. Right, this is the first number. Second number is 440. So, which is nothing but 339 plus 101. 101, right? Therefore, I can write second number as first number plus 101, right? And the third number. So, I'll write third number. It is given that 541. 541 can be written as second number, which is 440 plus 100 and again, add 101 right therefore third number is second number plus 101 very simple logic right so consider the second set also right first number is 201 second number is 302 which is nothing but 201 plus 101 third number is 403 which is nothing but second number 302 plus 101 right so simple logic is so second number is First number plus 101. Third number is second number plus 101. Right? Therefore, so which of the given options follows the same logic that we need to uh, find? Right? So another simple logic is if you consider first and third number, right? 339 plus 541. Right? Divide the sum by 2. Right? So you will get 9 plus 1, 10. 8, 880 by 2, which is nothing but 440. Therefore, the logic is, so first number plus, sec, sorry, third number by 2 gives you the second number, right? Either you can follow this logic or the first one, just by adding 101, right? So here, now we'll consider option A. First number is 388. Second number should be 388 plus 101. Right? So, which is 488, 489. Right? It doesn't follow the logic, what we have found just now. Right? Therefore, option A is not the correct answer. Now, consider option B. Uh, in which first number is 332. Second number should be 332 plus 101. Which is 433. 
right so according to the option second number is 432 therefore option b doesn't follow the logic then option c 437 is the first number second number should be 437 plus 101 which is 538 right so second number follows the logic and the third number should be second number 538 plus 101 which is 639 therefore option c follows the logic right of the given two sets right therefore option c is the right answer so you can go for the second logic also so by adding first and third number and dividing the sum by two you will get the second number you can verify the answers right therefore option c is the right answer Question number seven. Three statements are given followed by three conclusions numbered one, two, and three. Assuming the statements to be true, even if they seem to be at variance with commonly known facts, decide which of the conclusions logically follow from the statements. So as in the previous cases, previous questions here also, let us represent the statements in the form of Venn diagram, right? So no sheet is a pillow, right? So we'll consider set of sheet, right? And no sheet is a pillow means a set of sheet is excluded from pillow. That is, there is no relation between sheet and pillow, right? And the second statement is some pillows are blankets, some portion of the pillow, right? We'll consider this portion, right? Some portion are blankets. So, we'll consider a set of blankets like this. Next one, all blankets are rugs. So, set of blankets is completely included in set of rugs. Therefore, all blankets are rugs, right? Now come to the conclusion part. Some pillows are rugs, some portion of the pillows, right? Which is true, right? So conclusion one, first conclusion. Some pillows are rugs. Since some blankets, right? All blankets are rugs and some pillows are blankets, right? So portion of blanket every portion of blanket is set of rugs right so which is included in set of rugs so therefore some pillows are rugs a true conclusion true conclusion right because of because of second statement because of second statement and the second conclusion is all blankets can never be sheets all blankets so there is no relation between sheets and blankets so all blankets can never be sheets a true conclusion right the reason is there is no relation there is no relation between between blankets and sheets blankets and sheets and the third conclusion is some rugs are sheets so, some portion of rugs are sheets, which is false. Because, so the same reason, no relation between, no relation between, between rugs and sheets. Rugs and sheets. So, here when it comes to the second conclusion, all blankets can never be sheets. So, which is true right so it is strictly given that there is no relation between sheets and rugs right if there is a relation between sheets and rugs then only the second conclusion is false right therefore if if right it is true only if only if there is there is a relation between relation between blankets and sheets it is possible right it is possible so the second conclusion is possible only if there is a relation between blankets and sheets right according to the given statements there is a there is no relation between sheets and blankets therefore second conclusion that means it is true that means all blankets can never be sheets right so here Conclusion 1 and 2 follow, right? So, option D is the right answer. Question number 8. Which of the following numbers will replace the question mark in the given series? 
right? So here the given series has six different numbers. We need to find the last number, right? So we'll consider the first two numbers, four and 21. So when a number is added to four, you will get the next number, right? So which is 17. So four plus 17 is 21, right? So we'll consider the next number, which is 39. So 21 plus 18 is 39, right? And the next number is 65. Fourth number is 65. So that 39 plus a number. So which is that number? 39 plus so 26 is 65, right? And the next number is 100. So 65 plus 35 is 100. And the next two 100, which is 199. So 100 plus 99 becomes 199. So we need to find the last number, right? So to find that, so look at the numbers, right? Which are added to the previous numbers, right? So the numbers added are 17, 18, 26, 35, and 99. Right. So we'll take the difference between the respective numbers which are added. Right. So 17 plus 1 is 18. Right. So 1 is the difference here. And 18 plus a number is 26, which is 18 plus 8 is 26. And 26 plus 9 is 35. And 35 plus 64 is 99. Right. So here have, have a look at these numbers which are added. Right, 1, 8, 9, and 64. Here, 1 can be written as a square of 1. Right, 8 can be written as cube of 2. Right, 9 can be written as square of 3. 64 can be written as cube of 4. Right, here, the numbers are, numbers added are 1 square, 2 cube, 3 square, 4 cube. Right, and here, squares and cubes have occurred alternatively. Right, so squares and cubes right so alternatively alternatively occurred alternatively occurred right therefore so the next number to be added is plus square of 5 next number to 4 is 5 and it's a square right square of 5 is 25 so the number 25 should be added to 99 right so here 99 plus 25 gives you how much 124 right so 124 therefore in first first row the number to be added is 124 to the last but one number which is 199 right therefore we get 199 plus 124 is 323 Right, therefore, the last number is 323. Option A is the right answer. Question number nine Three of the following four letter clusters are alike in a certain way, and one is different. Pick the odd one out. Here, for our reference, I have written the positional values of each alphabet. Right, so we'll consider the first letter cluster H S V W. Right, so H S V W. And W. These are the four letters of the first cluster. Here, so H, its positional value is 8. So, positional value of S is 19, where H and S are opposite letters, right? So, here I can write H is opposite to S, right? And the relation between S and V is, so here, positional value of S is 19, V is 22. So, I can write S plus 3 as V. And positional value of W is 23, of V is 22, so I can write V plus 1 as W, right? So we'll consider second cluster, E, V, T, R. So E, V, T, and R, right? Here, the letter E is opposite to V, right? E and V are opposite letters, so I can write E is opposite to V. Whereas the relation between V and T is V is 22, T is 20. So V minus 2 is T. And R is 18. So T minus 2 can be written as R. Right? We'll consider option C. G, T, R, P. Right? G, T, R and P. Right? So the letter G is opposite to T. Right? So G and T are opposite letters. And the letter R is, its positional value is 18. T's positional value is 20. So T minus 2 can be written as R. 
and P is 16. So R minus 2 is P, right? So when it comes to option D, it is B, Y, W and U, right? B is 2, right? And Y is opposite to B. Therefore, B is opposite to Y. And Y is 25, W is 23, so Y minus 2 is W, and U is 21, so W minus 2 is U, right? So in option B, C, and D, right? The logic is same. First letter is opposite to second letter, right? And second letter minus 2 gives you third letter, and third letter minus 2 gives you the last letter, right? So except in option A, in the remaining options, the logic is same. Therefore, option A is odd one. Right, so option A in option A, second letter plus three gives you third letter, third letter plus one gives you fourth letter, hence option A is odd one. Question number 10 Town A is to the northwest of town B, town D is to the north of town C, town B is to the east of town C, and town M is to the north of town B. Town D is southeast of town A. Town M is east of town A. What is the position of town D with respect to town B? So here we'll consider the positions and the directions first, right? So north, south, east and west. East and west, right? It is given that town A is to the northwest of town B. Right, so northwest means this direction, right? So we'll consider town A somewhere here. It is to the northwest of town B means so we'll consider town B somewhere here, right? So town B somewhere here, right? And next point is we'll consider the position of town M, right? Town M is to the north of town B, so we'll consider. Town M to the north of town B, right? And also town M is east of town A, right? Therefore, we'll consider position of town M here, right? So to the north of B and to the east of town A. Next is, so we'll consider uh, position of town D. Town D is southeast of town A. And also, town D is to the north of town C. Where exactly town C is? So, town B is to the east of town C. So, we'll consider town C first, right? So, town B is to the east of town C, this point, right? So, we'll consider town C here. So, that town B is to the east of town C, right? Now, about town D. Town D. So, here, town D is to the north of town C. So, to the north of town C means town D is somewhere here. And also, and also, town D is a southeast of town A. So, this is very important. Therefore, we have to consider town D here, southeast. Right? So, town D is southeast of town A means, southeast means this direction. Right. So, what is the point left here? Town D is to the north of town C. This point got over. About town M, the points got over. So, about town B, yes, all the points got over. Right. So, town M is to the east of A. Yes. Now, yeah. The question is, what is the position of town D with respect to town B? So, position of town D, which I am showing now, right, with respect to town B is to the northwest, right, northwest direction, right. So, north, this direction is northwest direction. So, town D is to the northwest of town B. Option D is the right answer. Question number 11. In this question, the statement is followed by two conclusions. Which of the two conclusions is or are true? Right? We'll consider the given statements. So, in which? So, S is greater than or equal to P. So, we'll consider S as a line. Right? S as a line. Which is greater than, sorry, less than or equal to P. So, S is less than P. So, we'll consider one more line, P. 
which is greater than s or equal to s right so we will consider one more case right so case 1 and case 2 case 2 right so in which s is less than p or equal to p right and going further p is equal to u so we will consider a line u which is equal to p in both the cases right p and u are equal and u is strictly less than t right according to the statement u is less than t so we will draw a greater line t in both the cases u is less than t next one t is greater than v so we will consider a small line v right t is strictly greater than v next v greater than or equal to x so v is greater than x in case 1 or equal to x in case 2 right and x is greater than w so w is a small line in both the cases x is strictly greater than w right now come to the conclusion part t is strictly greater than s so t strictly greater than s look at the line t and s in both the cases right it is greater than x so because of this relation u less than t though u and p are equal in both the cases right and in case 2 s p and u are three lines are equal right so because of this relation u strictly greater than sorry less than t u strictly less than t so we can conclude that t is greater than s therefore first conclusion is true and the second one w strictly less than v so look at the lines v and w right because of the relation so v greater than x x is strictly greater than w in case 1 and in case 2 we have v is equal to x and x is strictly greater than w we can conclude that v strictly greater than w or w is strictly less than v right right w is strictly less than v therefore second conclusion is also true so both conclusions one and two are true option b is the right answer question number 12 select the option that is related to the third word in the same way as the second word is related to the first word right the words must be considered as meaningful english words and must not be related to each other based on the number of letters or number of consonants or vowels in the word right here the first word is mirror the second word is reflection here reflection it's a property of mirror right so property of a mirror therefore so the second word is so i can write second word reflection is property of a mirror property of a mirror right so here third word is glass right so here refraction is property of a glass right so property of a glass is refraction so i can write refraction right is property of property of a glass so here refraction means it's bending of light right refraction means bending of light so for example we'll consider two media right so for example rarer media to medium to denser medium or denser medium to rarer medium so for example air to glass medium air to glass medium or glass to air medium when a ray of light travels from one medium to another medium one medium to another medium it changes its path or it changes its direction changes its path or changes its direction this property is called refraction of light right so bending of light right or changing the path of light is called refraction right when a light ray travels from one medium to another medium so the bending takes place so this property is called refraction so it's a property of a glass right with respect to this question glass is related to refraction right option c is the right answer
Question number 13. How many triangles are there in the given figure? So in the given figure, in the center part, right, we, we can find mm -hmm. uh, number of triangles, right? So here, in the center part means uh, inside this square, right? Mm -hmm. So we can find four individual triangles, one, two, three, four, and we can find this triangle, right? So fifth one and sixth one, and we can find such triangle, seventh one, and we can find eighth one, right? So totally there are eight triangles in the given figure, in the center part, right? So option D is the right answer. Question number 14. Select the option that indicates the correct arrangement of the given parts of the human hand in a logical and meaningful order. So here, wrist, thumb, elbow, palm and fingernails have been given, right? So here, these parts are parts of a human hand, right? So here, these parts are, this, these parts can be arranged from bottom to, from bottom to top right so here topmost part of the given parts is so you can take elbow right elbow is the elbow is the topmost part right so here bottom most is fingernail fingernail right so after fingernail so we can take thumb thumb after thumb we can take palm after that wrist and at last elbow can be taken right so in the given order fingernail is the fifth part and thumb is second one palm is fourth wrist is first one elbow is third one so these parts can be arranged in a meaningful order like a 5 2 4 1 3 right so option a is the right answer right it's the proper arrangement of the given parts Right, so from bottom to top, option A. Question number 15. Select the option that is related to the third term in the same way as the second term is related to the first term and the sixth term is related to the fifth term. Right, so here first two terms are 18 and 123. So these numbers are related as, so I can take 123 as, so 126 minus 3 where 126 is 18 into 7, right? So minus 3 gives you the second term, which is 123, right? So first number, first number into 7 minus 3 gives you the second number. Very simple logic. Similarly, last two terms, right? 19 is the first term or the fifth term, right? So 130 can be written as 133 minus 3, where 133 is 19 into 7. Right? So, minus 3 gives you the next term, which is 130. Right? Same logic. Right? First term into 7 minus 3. Right? So, to get fourth term. Right? So, here, third term is 15. So, next term has to be, so, 15 into 7. Right? Minus 3. So, which is 15 into 7 is how much? 105 minus 3 is 102. Right? Therefore, the fourth term is 102 or 15 is related to 1 or 2. So, option C is the right answer. Question number 16. Which two numbers from amongst the given options should be interchanged to make the given equation correct? Right? So, to make the given equation correct means left hand side should be equal to right hand side which is 11. Right? So, here which two numbers should be uh, interchanged? According to option A, if we interchange 6 and 13, right? The given equation becomes 134 minus 13 becomes minus 6. We are interchanging 6 and 13, right? So divided by 27 into 3 minus 6 becomes minus 13 is equal to, this should be equal to 11, right? So while solving any mathematical expression or any equation, we should follow board mass rule, right? First, remove the bracket part. B stands for bracket. Let us remove the bracket. 134 minus 6 gives you 128. So, right, divided by 27 into 3 minus 13 should be equal to 11. 
Next comes off part. There is no off part here. Next comes D, D which is division, right? So 128 by 27 gives you 27. Yes, 27 into 5. Yes, you will get a fraction. You will get a fraction. Next comes multiplication. Fraction into 3 gives you a fraction. Minus 13 is not equal to 11. Right? Therefore, option A is not the answer. Right? If you interchange 6 and 13, you won't get answer as 11, which is RHS. Right? So, let us go for option B. So, interchange 3 and 6 in the given equation. Equation becomes 134 minus 13. Right? So, divided by divided by 27 into into 3 becomes into 6 minus 6 becomes minus 3 should be equal to 11. So again by board mass we will remove the bracket part 134 by 13. Yes we will get a fraction minus 13 sorry not divided by minus 13. So 124 121 divided by 27 into 6 minus 3 should be equal to 11, right? So, when 121 is divided by 27, so here you will get 27, you will again get a fraction. You will get a fraction. So, if you take 27 into 4, you will get 108. 27 into 5 is more than 121. You will get a fraction into 6 minus 3 is not equal to 11. You will get a fraction. So, option B is not the answer, right? So, if you take option C, interchange 27 and 11, the given equation becomes 134 minus 13 divided by 27 becomes divided by 11, right? Into 3 minus 6 should be equal to 27. Just we have interchanged, interchanged the numbers, right? 27 and 11. So, 134 minus 13 becomes 121 divided by 11 into 3 minus 6 should be equal to 27. Again, by board mass rule, yes, we have removed the bracket. Next comes division part. D stands for division. So, 11, yes, 11 into 11 is 121. So, 121 by 11 is 11 into 3 minus 6 should be equal to 27. So, next comes multiplication, 33 minus 6 is equal to 27. Therefore, if we interchange 27 and 11, the given equation will get satisfied, right? That means LHS will be equal to RHS. Therefore, option C is the right answer. Students, if you want to practice such questions from this paper, please visit our website www.examsnet.com. You can also download our app. The link is given in the description box. Question number 17. In a certain code language, Mayer is written as WSBCN and March is written as MGUCN. How will issue be written in that language? Right. So here we'll consider the first word Mayer, M-A-Y-O-R. So code for Mayer is WSBCN, right? B-C-N. So here students, actually M is coded as N. So, the first letter of the word is coded as the last letter of the code, the given code, right? So, here the positional value of M is 13, N is 14. So, I can write M plus 1 as N, right? And the second letter is A, A is coded as C, right? And A plus 2 is C and Y is coded as B. So, Y is 25, B is 2. So, after Y, Z comes. Y plus 1 is Z, plus 2 is A, plus 3 is B. So, Y plus 3 can be written as B. And O plus 4 is Yes. O is 15, Yes is 19. Right? And R plus 5 is W. Right? So, Mayor is coded as W, S, B, C, N. Right? Similarly, the second word March is written as M, G, U, C, N. Right? Therefore, we will consider the third word issue. Right? I, S, S, U, E. Right? So, I is coded as, the first word is coded as plus 1. I plus 1. I is 9. Plus 1 is 10, which is J. So, we should be written at last. Right? And the second letter, second letter is S plus 2. 
right yes is 19 plus 2 is 21 which is nothing but u and third letter yes plus 3 right so 19 plus 3 is 22 which is v and fourth letter u plus 4 right u is 21 plus 4 is 25 which is y and e plus 5 E is 5 plus 5 is 10, which is J. Therefore, issue will be coded as J, Y, V, U, J. Right? J, Y, V, U, J, option B. Am I right? Yes, option B is the right answer. Question number 18. Which of the following terms will replace the question mark in the given series? So, the first letter cluster is G, A, T, C. Right? So, G, A, T, C. We need to find the last, last but one cluster, right? So, here, second cluster is J, E, Q, I. Q, I. Here, students, G and J are related as positional value of G is 7, J is 10, right? I can write G plus 3 as J, right? When it comes to the second letters a and e a is 1 e is 5 right mm -hmm. so i can write a plus 4 as e right whereas t is 20 q is 17 so i can write t minus 3 as q right right and c and z when it comes to c and z c is 3 z is 26 so i can write so c minus 3 am i right c minus 3 as so C and I, not Z, sorry, C and I, right? So, C is 3, I is 9, so C plus 6, plus 6 is I, right? So, we'll consider the third cluster, M, I, N, O, right? M, I, N, and O, applying the same rule. So, first letter plus 3, J plus 3, right? J is 10 plus 3 is 13, which is M right so e, second letter plus 4 right e is 5 plus 4 is 9 which is i and third letter minus 3 q is 17 minus 3 is 14 which is n and fourth letter plus 6 i is 9 plus 6 is 15 right which is o right so to find the fourth letter cluster so add 3 to the first letter which is m since m is 13 plus 3 is 16 which is p Right, second letter plus 4. I is 9 plus 4 is 13, which is M. Right, so third letter minus 3. So N is 14 minus 3 is 11, which is K. Right, and fourth letter, sorry, plus 6, not minus, plus 6. O is how much? 15 plus 6 is 21, which is U. Therefore, fourth cluster is PMKU. Right, right, is it PM? Yes, I is how much? M, I, and O. M, I is 9 plus 4 is 13, which is M. Right? So, P, M, K, U. It should be. Yes, P, M, K, U. So, in option C, it is given as P, O, K. It is wrong. It should be P, M, K, U. Option C is the right answer. Right? To verify this answer, so, we will consider last cluster also. First letter plus 3. So, P plus 3 is 19 which is yes. Right? And second letter plus 4. M is 13 plus 4 is 17. Right? So second letter plus 4. Yes. So 13 plus 4 is 17 which is Q. Right? Third letter minus 3. K minus 3 is 8 right 8 is h and fourth letter plus 6 u plus 6 is 27 is nothing but a s q h a right therefore option c is the right answer question number 19 select the figure that will replace the question mark in the following figure series so in the series we need to find the fourth figure so, we'll consider first three figures, right? So, in the first figure, we have a dot, right? Shaded dot, right? So, this shaded dot's position is being changed, right? So, in the second figure, so it has changed its position, right? So, in the center, 
right so it has moved towards the center right so again it has come back to its original position right therefore in the fourth figure fourth figure position of the dot right should be at the center right so dot is changing its position changing its position position from from original position to original position to center position to center again it comes back right therefore in the fifth figure sorry fourth figure its position should be at the center right so when it comes to the middle arrow mark right middle arrow mark right so this arrow mark is also changing its position and also it is reversing its direction right reversing its direction direction right from left to right right to left reversing its direction from left to right and right to left and also changing its position changing its position right so it comes to the left corner right left uh, bottom corner and it goes back to its original position right in the third figure right therefore in the fourth figure its position should be left bottom corner right and also its direction should be where towards left right so direction of the arrow mark horizontal arrow mark is towards left and at the left bottom corner right when it comes to the third arrow mark right which is facing upwards when it comes to this arrow mark in the first figure so its position is top right corner right right so in each figure it is reversing its direction its position is same right so it doesn't change its position only it reverses its position right reversing sorry it reverses its direction reversing its direction in each figure therefore in the fourth figure its direction has to be downwards right right so look at the options given here so the dot shaded dot should be at the center so only in option b we have shaded dot at the center and also when it comes to the horizontal arrow arrow mark right so it should face leftwards yes in option b horizontal arrow mark is facing leftwards and vertical arrow mark is facing downwards hence option b is the fourth figure in the given figure series Question number 20. Which letter cluster will replace the question mark to complete the given series? So we need to find the third letter cluster here, right? To find that, we'll consider first two clusters D, J, U, C, D, J, U, C, and N, E, G, G, right? N, E, G, G. We'll find the relation between them right how these are related first letters and second letters third letters and fourth letters are related right for that i have written the positional values of each letter so here d is four right so next uh, letter is n in the next cluster first letter in the next cluster is n right so i can write d plus 10 as n d is 4 n is 14 right so here j is how much 10 e is 5 positional value of e is 5 so j minus 5 is e right and u is 21 g is 7 right 21 plus 5 is 26 right plus 7 right so i can write g is 7 here right so u plus 12 as g <coughs> right 7 plus 5, which is 12. And C is 3. G is how much? G is 7. So, C plus 4 is G. Right? So, to get the next cluster, we have to add 
10 to the first letter. Right? n plus 10. n is 14 plus 10 is 24 which is x. Right? So, among four options, option D starts with x. Obviously, option D is the right answer. Right? We will verify the answer. Right? By considering second letter. Right? So, E minus 5. Right? E minus 5. E is 5. Minus 1 is D. Minus 2 is C. Minus, sorry, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is Z. X, Z. Right? So, G plus 12. G is how much? 7 plus 12 is 19 which is yes. Right? And G plus 4. G is 7 plus 4 is 11 which is K. Therefore, third letter cluster is X, Z, S, K. Option D is the right answer. Right? You can verify the answer by considering the next cluster also. So, X plus 10, Z minus 5, S plus 12, fourth letter plus 4. Right, x is 24 minus sorry, plus 10 is 8, right, which is h, z minus 5 is 21, which is u, and s plus 12, s is how much 19, so 19 plus 7 is 26 plus 5, which is e, right, s plus 12 is e, and k plus 4 is 15, which is o. Right? Therefore, the answer is verified for the third cluster is XZSK, XZ which is option D. Students, if you want to practice such questions from this paper, please visit our website www.examsnet.com. You can also download our app. The link is given in the description box. Question number 21. Which of the following numbers will replace the question mark in the given series? Here the first number is 4, second number is 6. So here when 2 is added to 4, you will get 6. Right? Third number is 11. So 6 plus 5 is 11. Right? We need to find the last number here in the series. So we will consider fourth number which is 24. So I can write 11 plus 13 is 24. Next is 51, right? So 24 plus 17 is 50. Sorry, 27 is 51. 24 plus 27 is 51. And next number is 130. 130 is 81. Sorry, 79, I think. Yes, 79. 151 plus 79 is 130. So to get the next number, Look at the numbers added. Added numbers are here. 2, 5, 13, 27 and 79. Right? So, I can write 5 as 5 as so 2 into 2 plus 1 plus 1. Right? 5 can be written as I will write 5 as so its previous number into 2 plus 1. Right? 13 can be written as its previous number into 3 minus 2. Right? So, 27 can be written as its previous number 13 into 2 plus 1. Right? We have multiplied the previous number by 2 plus 1. Right? So, in the next case, its previous number 79 can be obtained, right? When its previous number 27 is multiplied by 3, you will get 81. When 2 is subtracted from 81, you will get 71. Right? So, these operations, previous number into 3 minus 2, right? So, it occurs alternatively. And also, this operation, so pre previous number into 2 plus 1 occurs alternatively. Right? Therefore, to get the next number to be added, so 79 should be 79 should be multiplied by 2 because it's in the, in the previous case, the previous number was multiplied by 3. Right? So, here 79 should be multiplied by 2 and 1 should be added to the product. Right? When 79 is multiplied by 2, you will get 158 plus 1 is 159. Therefore, so, to the number 130, 159 should be added to get the last letter, right? 
so we have 289 right 289 as the final answer right therefore option b is the right answer Question number 22. Select the option that is related to the third number in the same way as the second number is related to the first number and the sixth number is related to the fifth number, right? So, we'll find the logic behind first two numbers and last two numbers, how they are related, right? So, here 16 and 75 are related as. So, I can write 75 as. So, 16 into 5, right? which is 80 minus 5, right? So, 80 minus 5 is 75. We'll consider last two letters, 7 and 30, right? So, here 30 can be written as 7 into 5. It's previous number into 5, which is 35 minus 5. 35 minus 5 is 30, right? Therefore, so first number into 5 minus 5 gives the second number, right? Therefore, to get the fourth number, right in the second uh, two letter second cluster so 12 is related to the number right which is 12 minus 5 minus 5 which is 12 into 5 is 60 minus 5 is 55 therefore 12 is related to 55 option b is the right answer Question number 23. In a certain code language, magnetic is written as D J U F O H B N and electric is written as right D J S U D F M F. How, how will location be written in, in that language? So here we'll consider the code for magnetic now, right? How these letters are related, how they are coded, right? So magnetic here M. M is coded as N, which is written in reverse manner, right? So, code for M is N. M plus 1 is N. Since position value of M is 13, N is 14. So, M plus 1 is N, right? So, which is written in the re reverse manner, right? Which is written at last. Similarly, A plus 1 is B, which is written in the reverse manner, right? And G plus 1. G plus 1 is how much? So, G7 plus 1 is H. And N plus 1. N is 14 plus 1 is 15 which is O. Right? And E plus 1. So, E is 5 plus 1 is F. Right? T plus 1. Right? T plus 1. T is 20 plus 1 is U. Right? And I plus 1 i is 9 plus 1 is j and c plus 1 is d therefore code for magnetic is d j u f s o h b n right similarly for the next word electric right so the first letter is coded as the last letter of the code right which is written in the reverse manner so we'll consider the word location the word location L O C A T I O N T I O N. Right? So add 1 to each letter and write the code in reverse manner. L plus 1. So L is 12 plus 1 is 13, which is M. O plus 1 is P. Right? C plus 1 is D. And A plus 1 is B. T plus 1 is U. I plus 1 is J. O plus 1 is P, right? N plus 1 is O. Therefore, code for location is O, P, J, U, B, D, P, M, right? B, D, P, M. Therefore, option A is the right answer. Question number 24. Select the correct combination of mathematical signs to replace the asterisk signs and to balance the given equation, right? So, here is the given expression. So, let us consider option A, right? So, in place of first asterisk, we will consider division sign. 221 divided by 17. Second asterisk should be replaced with subtraction sign minus 3 asterisk 6. So, third asterisk is plus 60 equal to will be the fourth asterisk. 7 asterisk 10 in 7 into 10 according to option A. 
So we have to check whether LHS is equal to RHS or not. Right. So now to solve these students, we are following board mass rule. So remove the bracket part first. Right. While, sol while solving any mathematical expression, there is no bracket to remove. Next comes off part. There is no off part. Next comes division. Right. So 221 divided by 7. So, is it divided by? Yes, we'll write as it is 221. So, 17 into 10 is 170. Yes, 13. 17 into 13 is 221 minus 3 plus 60 should be equal to 7 into 10, which is 70. So, while solving this, uh, addition comes before subtraction. So, we'll add 13 and 60, which is 73 minus 3 is obviously 70. Therefore, so to balance the equation, these asterisk signs should be replaced with the mathematical operations in option A, according to option A. So option A is the right answer. Question number 25. What was the day of the week on 17 number 1855? So we need to find day of the week on 17 no November 1855. For that, for that, so, the first day of every century starts with Monday. We all know that, right? So, keeping this in our mind, first day of every century. Every century is on Monday. That means Jan 1st, right? Jan 1st of every century. It may be 18th century or 19th century, right? So, Jan 1st of every century will be on Monday according to Gregorian calendar. Right, and also number of odd days in 200 years. In 200 years, is always three. There will be three odd days in 200 years. That means these odd days are Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Since the week starts with Monday, right? Three odd days means Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Right. So now. Coming to the year 1855, right? So we'll consider from 1801 to 1854, number of days, right? So number of, we'll consider only odd days, number of odd days. That means extra days. Odd means extra days. Right. So in each year we will have one, one extra day. Since each year, one year contains 365 days. That means, so 7 into 5, 7 into 2. Yes, 52 weeks and one day. We will have one extra day in each year. Right. Therefore, in 54 years, 1801 to 50, 1854, number of extra days are 54 extra days. In each year, we will have one extra day. Therefore, 54 days plus in 54 years, how many leap, leap years we will have? So, 54 by 4. Leap year comes once in 4 years. We all know that. Right? So, 4 into 1, 4 into 3 is 12. So, 13 weeks. Sorry. 13. One minute. 13 leap years will Right? From 1801 to 1854, there will be 13 leap years. That means, so 13 extra days. In leap year, we will have 29 days in the month of February. Therefore, 13 extra days, right? So from 1801 to 1854, right? Because of leap years and 54 days, right? So each day from one day from one year. Together it is 67 extra days, 67 extra days plus, plus, so in every 200 years we will have 3 extra days, 3 extra days in 200 years. Therefore, together it is 70 days. So number of odd days or extra days from 1801 to 1850 is equal to 70. Right? 70 days, they complete 10 weeks. Right? So, there is no extra day. Right? So, by the end of 1854, that means 
So December thirty first is on Sunday because seventy days complete ten weeks, ten complete weeks. There is no extra day, therefore, so it completes uh, ten weeks, right? So now coming to the year eighteen fifty five. 1855, right? In the month, in the year 1855, we are considering 17th November, right? Right? Therefore, from Jan 1st to 1st to 17th November, how many days we are considering? So, Jan 1st is on Monday, right? Because, so, December 31st was Sunday, right? It's previous years. So, Jan 1st. So, in the month of January, we are considering 31 days. In the month of February, since 55 is not a leap year, therefore, 28 days. In the month of March, we are considering 31. April 30, May 31, June 30, July 31, August 31, September 30, October 31, and November, only 17 days we are considering. Right? All together, it becomes think uh, 300 something right so 90 120 here 150 151 181 212 So, 304, 321, right? 321 days in the year 1855, we are considering. So, that means when it is divided by 7, number of days in each week. So, 7 into 4, 28. 7 into 5, 35. So, 45 weeks six days yes. right so in in the year 1855 we are considering 321 days which make 45 weeks and six days so these six days are from monday to monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday so, last sixth day is a Saturday, which is on 17th November. Right? Right? So, 17th November 1855 is on Saturday. Option C is the right answer. Question 26. Select the option that will right. place the question mark in the figure given below to complete the pattern. Right? So, to complete the given pattern, we have to join join, or we have to complete the square portion. Right? And also at the center, we have to complete the circular portion like this. And also this half shaded part. Right? So, the option which, which completes the given figure or pattern is option B. Right? So, this part and also so at the center we have to join this line right so this po this portion or option b completes the given pattern question number 27 a b c d e f and g are seven friends who scored different marks in the periodic test c scored less than two persons B scored more than C but less than A. E scored more than F but less than D. F has not scored the least. How many people scored between C and G? For that, we'll consider seven people, right? From least to highest marks. Four, five, six and seven persons, right? So, this is the least mark, right? And highest marks. And it is given that C scored less than two persons. Less than two persons means after C, there are two persons who scored more than C. Right? So, I am considering this point. Two persons. Two persons. 
scored more than C. More than C. Right? So, C becomes a fifth person from first. Right? So, this is the first, second, third. Fourth, fifth person is C. Right? After C, two person scored more than C. Right? So, here next, B scored more than C but less than A. Right? More than C, B has scored but less than A means. So, B is last but one person. Right? And A scored highest. Highest person, highest mark scored is by A. Right? So, here A scored highest. Because B scored less than A, right? It is already given. And moving further, E scored more than F. But less than B. And F has not scored the least. So, which is important. F is not least scored one. Right? Therefore, so we have to consider person F here. E scored more than F. Therefore, E is the third person but less than D. So, D is the fourth person. Right? So, which is very important. And F has not scored the least. F is not the one who scored the least marks. Right? Who is left here? G is the first person who scored least. G scored least. For the question is how many people scored between C and G? Between C and G, there are three people F, E, and D. Right? There are three persons between C and G. Therefore, option C. Question 28. Which two numbers from amongst the given options should be interchanged to make the given equation correct? So, to make it correct, so which are the two numbers to be interchanged here, right? So, considering option A, so the given equation becomes 42 divided by 7. Here, we need to interchange 10 and 5, right? So, into 5 becomes into 10, right? Is equal to 30 into, into 120 divided by 10 plus 5 becomes 5 plus 10, right? Just we are interchanging 5 and 10 into 2 right to solve this we are following board mass rule right we are following board mass rule according to which bracket part should be removed first right should be solved first right we'll consider left hand side and right hand side separately right so in which we are applying board mass rule just remove the bracket part 42 by 7 is 6 into 10 right is equal to right hand side in which we are we are solving bracket part right so, inside the bracket, we have multiplication and addition. So, first multiplication comes, right? So, 10 into 2, 20 plus 5 is 25, right? So, directly we'll write it as 25, right? So, 60 should be equal to the RHS part. Then only the equation will get satisfied, right? 30 into 120 by 25, right? 5 into 5, 5 into 6 is 30 and 5 into 24, right so 24 into 6 is it is not equal to 60 therefore lhs is is not equal to rhs therefore if we interchange a 10 and 5 equation will not get satisfied we'll consider second option so by interchanging 2 and 5 right the given equation becomes a 42 divided by 7 will be as it is 42 divided by 7 right into 5 becomes into 2 right is equal to 30 into 120 divided by 10 plus 5 becomes 10 plus 2, right? Into 2 becomes into 5, into 5, right? As in the previous question, here also we are applying Bodman's rule. Just remove the bracket, right? 42 by 7 is 6 into 2 should be equal to 30 into 120 divided by inside the bracket we have 5 into 2. This is 10 plus 10 is 20. Right, so to the right hand side part, again we are applying board mass rule. So, in which the division part comes first, right? 30 into 120 by 20 is 6, right? Whereas 6 into 2, 6 into 2 is 12, right? Which is not equal to 30 into 60, 30 into 6, which is 180, right? Therefore, if we interchange 
pi and 2, the given equation will not get satisfied. Mm -hmm. Let us consider the given equation by interchanging 7 and 2, right? So, 7 and 2, so the given equation becomes, I just want to write here, considering option C, right? So, 42 by 7 becomes by 2, right? Right? Into 5, right? Should be equal to 30 into 120 divided by, right? So, 10 plus 5, right? Into 2 becomes into 7, right? So, just, just apply board mass rule. Just remove the bracket part. 42 by 2 becomes 21 into 5 should be equal to 30 into 120 divided by, right? So 10 plus 7 into 5, 35 plus 10, 45, right? 45, right? So 21 into 5, 105 mm -hmm. should be equal to 30 into, according to board mass rule, division comes before multiplication. So 120 by 45, right? So 15 into 2, 15 into 3 is 45 and 3 into 40 is 120. So 14 into 2 is 80, which is not equal to 105. Mm -hmm. So equation will not get satisfied by interchanging of 7 and 2 according to option C. Therefore, option D will be the right answer. So just verify the answer by interchanging 10 and 30, right? 42, equation becomes 42 by 7 into 5 should be equal to 30 into becomes 10 into. We are interchanging 30 and 10, right? 10 into 120 divided by 10 plus 5 becomes 30 plus 5 into 2, right? So apply board mass rule. It becomes 6 into 5 is equal to 10 into 120 by remove the bracket. So 5 into 2, 10 plus 30 is 40, right? Now 6 into 5 is 30 should be equal to 10 into 120 by 40 is 3, right? So which is equal to 30. Therefore, equation will get satisfied by interchanging 10 and 30. Option D is the right answer. Question number 29. Select the figure that will replace the question mark in the following figure series. So the series has three figures. We need to find the fourth one. Right. So here we'll consider the small figure which is squared one. Right. So which is shaded in the first part. Shaded squared figure. Right. Square is shaded in the first figure. Whereas in the second figure it is non-shaded. Right. Whereas in the third figure again it is shaded. Therefore, in the fourth figure it should be non-shaded. Right. And this square part it changes its position in clockwise direction. Right? Changes its position clockwise. Clockwise direction. Therefore, in the fourth figure, its position has to be here. In the left bottom corner and it should be non-shaded. Right? So, when it comes to the second one, second small figure, which is triangular figure, which is shaded in all the three figures right and this shaded triangle is changing its position in anti-clockwise direction right changes its position changes its position in anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction therefore in the fourth figure its position has to be its position has to be here here in the right bottom corner which should be shaded right when it comes to the star mark when it comes to the star mark so in the first figure which is at the bottom right corner in the second figure it goes to center which is shaded right so and in the third figure it is non-shaded it goes to the other side diagonally right therefore in the fourth the figure so it comes back to the center which is shaded therefore this star mark is shaded alternatively shaded alternatively and changes its position diagonally changes its position 
diagonally. Therefore, fourth figure looks like this, right? So look at the options. Yes, shaded asterisk. So either option A or B. So here option B is the fourth figure, right? So square is non-shaded and triangle is shaded, so which is at the bottom, right? Therefore, option B is the fourth figure in the given figure series. Question number 30. Select the figure from the options that can replace the question mark and complete the pattern. Rotation is not allowed, right? So in the given figure, we have four different parts, right? First part, so which has a circle, right? Like this and these two cross lines and a plus mark, right? Whereas the second part also the same structure, a circle, two cross lines and plus line. Therefore, to complete the fourth part, right which is exactly the remaining three parts right exactly like the remaining three parts so extend these lines right so along the diagonal along the diagonal as well as sideways like this therefore look at the options here so option d i think right so no not option d option a in option d so this is the diagonal line which doesn't touch the end end point here, right? So option option A is the right answer, right? Which completes the given figure. Question 31. Select the option that represents the correct order of the given words as they would appear in an English dictionary. Right. So here are six words given. Right. Each word starts with the letter M and the second letter is in each word it is O and even the third letter is the same in each word. Right. So we'll write these words. Right. The first three letters of each word m o n m o n which is same right so based on these three letters we cannot arrange the words according to english dictionary right so it is six words totally right we'll consider the fourth letter right so here so o doesn't come first i o s o and g right so m o n g comes first right so, fourth letter which comes first is G. Therefore, mongoose is the first word. Right? According to the dictionary, mongoose comes first. So, which is sixth word according to the given question. Right? So, next comes the second one, monitorial. Right? Because I comes after G. Right? Therefore, moni. Right? Monitorial. I comes monitorial. Therefore, second word comes after the sixth one. Right? After monitorial. So, here second one got over. I, G, K, yes, O comes. Right? So, here are three words. So, monochromist, monocural and monocrystal. Right? So, we will consider mono, mono and mono. Three, three words, right? So, we'll consider fifth letter. So, monocrystal, C comes and monocular also. In this word also, we have C as the fifth. Even in monochromis, we have C as fifth letter, right? We'll go to the sixth letters. So, R, R, U and H. So, H comes before R and U. Therefore, monochromist comes after the first mongoose and monitoral therefore fifth one right will be the third third word in english dictionary monochromist right so after monochromist so we have monocural and monocrystal so r comes right r comes which is the sixth letter so before u in monocural right so monocrystal comes monocrystal comes after monochromist which is the first word right so in the question after that monocular monocular so which is third one and at last it is 
it is monsieur right monsieur which is fourth one so their arrangement should be six two five one three four right six two five one three four so option d is the right answer right so in this order they would appear in an english dictionary right option d Question 32. In a certain code language, money is coded as 72, bill is coded as 35. How will token be coded in that language? Right. So, here for our reference, I have written the positional values of each letter. Right. So, when we add the positional values of each letter, right, each letter in the word money, right. So, here positional value of M is 13, of O is 15, of N is 14. Of E is 5 and Y is 25. Just add these values. You will get 13 plus 15, 28 plus 14, 38, 42 plus 5, 47, 57, 67 plus 5 is 72. Right? Therefore, money is coded as 72. That, that means the number number obtained by adding all the positional values of these letters right therefore money is quoted as 72 similarly bill is quoted as 35 just add the positional values you will get the code right therefore so we'll consider the word token and we'll write their positional values t's positional value is 20 right o's positional value is 15 plus k is 11, e is 5, and n's positional value is 14, right? So, it gives you 20 plus 15, 35, 45, 46, 51, 61 plus 4, 65. Therefore, code, token will be quoted as a 65, option D. Question 33. Two statements are given followed by two conclusions, numbered 1 and 2. Assuming the statements to be true, even if they seem to be at variance with commonly known facts, decide which of the conclusions logically follow from the statements. Right? Here are two statements given followed by two conclusions. Let us represent these statements in the form of Venn diagram. Right? So, we will consider the first one. All athletes are boxers. So, we will consider athletes, a set of athletes. Right? and set of boxes separately it is given that all athletes are boxes may that means the set of athletes is completely included in set of boxers right therefore the statement one all athletes are boxers and the second one no boxer is a cook that means there is no relation between set of boxers and cook no boxer is a cook right so now come to the conclusion part no athlete no athlete is a cook so there is no relation between set of athlete and cook right right so it is given that no boxer is a cook a set of athletes is completely included in set of boxers therefore conclusion one follows right therefore no athlete is a cook is a true conclusion right the reason is statement two statement two right now come to the second conclusion. No boxer is an athlete. No boxer is an athlete. It's a false conclusion. Because set of athletes or every athlete is a boxer according to the first statement. All athletes are boxers. Right? Therefore, second conclusion is the false one because of statement one. Statement one. Therefore, only first conclusion follows option D is the right answer, right? Only conclusion 1 follows. Question 34. Select the option that is related to the third term in the same way as the second term is related to the first term. And the sixth term is related to the fifth term, right? Here, the first two terms are related as, right? We'll consider first term which is 24. First term is 24. And the second term is, second term is 32. Right? So, this number is obtained by, by dividing the first term. Right? Which is 24 
by 3, right? And squaring it, right? Square this number. Then after obtaining this square, divide this by 2, right? So what do you get? So 24 by 3 is 8. It's a square by 2. So 8 square is 64 by 2 is equal to 32. So which is the second term, right? Therefore, second term is equal to, so first term divided by 3, the whole square, whole divided by 2, right? Very simple logic. So considering fifth and sixth term, right? Let us verify it. So 54 is the first term or the fifth term generally we'll consider. So its next term is 54 by 3. According to the logic, it is 54 by 3, the whole square divided by 2, right? 54 by 3 is 18, right? 18 square by 2. So 18 square is 324, right? 324, am I right? By 2. So is equal to 162. Therefore, the answer is verified. So now consider third and fourth term, right? Third term is 36. Fourth term can be obtained by dividing 36 by 3, right? The whole square by 2, right? So 36 by 2, sorry, 36 by 3 is 12, square by 2, right? So 144 by 2 is equal to 72. 72 is the fourth term. Therefore, option A. Question 35. Three statements are given followed by three conclusions numbered 1, 2 and 3. Assuming the statements to be true even if they seem to be at variance with commonly known facts. Decide which of the conclusions logically follow from the statements. So we'll represent the given statements in the form of Venn diagram, right? Later we can decide which of the given conclusions logically follows the given statements, right? So first one, some dates are weeks, right? So we'll consider set of dates, right? This is set of dates in which some portion, right? This portion indicates statement one, right? That is some dates are weeks. Right? We will consider a set of weeks like this. And the second one, some weeks are months. Right? So, some portion of the set of weeks. Right? Some weeks are months. So, the, the third set, set of months. Right? And the third one, all months are years. So, set of months, which is completely included in set of years. Therefore, all months are years. Right now, coming to the conclusion part, no date is month, no date is a month. Right, so here set of dates is here, set of months is here. Right, no date is a month is completely false because there is no definite relation between date and month, but it can be possible. Right, therefore, it's a false conclusion. Right, second conclusion. So, if you want, you can write. No relation between dates and months. But it can be possible. It can be possible. Right? So next one. All weeks being years is a possibility. Right? So is a possibility means it's a true conclusion, right? Because some weeks are definitely years, right? So these this portion, some weeks are definitely years, right? Because of statement two, second statement, right? So all week can be years also, right? Therefore, second conclusion is true, right? The reason is all weeks can be years also. Right? And the third conclusion is all years can never be dates. 
right so here's is set of years set of dates all years can never be dates it's completely false because though there is no relation between years and dates so it can be possible because here is a common portion between weeks and dates and some portion of the weeks are portion of years also so so we cannot say all years can never be dates if this portion the second statement portion is included in the first portion right so it is possible therefore third conclusion is false one it is possible possible but not definite but not definite Therefore, so only conclusion 2 follows, which is true, right? Option C is the right answer. Question 36. Select the correct combination of mathematical signs to replace the asterisk signs and to balance the given equation, right? So here, to balance the given equation, let us go for option A. Right, so 50 asterisk 95. So here first asterisk should be replaced with equality sign, right? 50 is equal to 95 asterisk 19. So second asterisk should be replaced by division sign, 95 divided by 19. Next it should be plus 15. Next it should be into 3, again into 1, right? So, in order to solve any mathematical equation or any mathematical expression, we have to follow board mass rule, according to which the bracket part should be solved or removed first, right? There is no bracket to remove. Next comes off part. If there is any square or cube or square root, cube root part or a percentage part should be solved, right? After removing the bracket. Next comes a division, right? So in the right hand side part, we have division, which is 95 divided by 19. So which is 5, right? So plus 15 into 3 into 1, we have, right? So after solving the division part, go for multiplication. It becomes 5 plus 15 into 3, 45. Again, into 1 is 45 itself. So we have 5 plus 45, which is 50. Therefore, in place of the given asterisk signs or asterisk marks, so if we replace the signs according to option A, the given equation or the given mathematical expression will get balanced. So it becomes an equation, right? Therefore, option A is the right answer, right? Option A. Question 37. L, M, N, O, P, Q, R and S are sitting around a square table not facing the center. They are facing outside, right? So, we will consider 8 persons, right? Who are sitting around a square table like this. So, all are facing outwards, right? So, 4, 5, 6th one, 7th person and 8th person like this right some of them are sitting at the corners and while some are some of them are sitting at the exact center of the sides right so we'll consider the first point l is sitting to the immediate right of p right to the right since all are facing outside right their right means their right means in the clockwise direction right so their left means in the anti-clockwise direction right keeping this in our mind so we'll consider position of l right who is sitting to the immediate right of p right if we consider p is sitting here right p is right means in the clockwise direction right where l is sitting to the immediate right of p l is sitting right first point got over and the second one o is sitting to the immediate right of l to the immediate right of L, O is sitting. So, O's position will be here. Again, in the clockwise direction, right? Then, O is sitting between L and S. So, between L and S means position of S will be here, right? So, here L is sitting to the immediate left of O. So, S will be sitting to the immediate right of O, right? Then, 
नेक्स्ट पॉइंट यस इज सिटिंग टू द इमीडिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ आर टू द इमीडिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ आर मीन्स इन दिस डायरेक्शन राइट इन द एंटी क्लॉक हाउस डायरेक्शन दे फोर आर्स पोजिशन आर कैन अकोमोडेट हियर राइट नेक्स्ट कम्स एम इज सिटिंग बिटवीन क्यू एंड आर बिटवीन क्यू एंड आर एम इज सिटिंग दे फोर पोजिशन ऑफ एम एंड क्यू विल बी हियर राइट देन एन इज सिटिंग टू द इमीडिएट राइट ऑफ क्यू to the right of q means this direction right in the clockwise direction where m is sorry no, n is sitting and immediate left of p so n's position will be immediate left of p right now the question is who is sitting second left from n so left from n right n's left means in the anti clockwise direction second left from n is m right m is sitting second left from n therefore option a is the right answer question 38 which of the following numbers will replace the question mark in the given series right so we have eight as the first number in the series we need to find the second one third one is 20 next comes 32 next is 48 next is 68 right so these numbers are related as here 20 and 32 the difference is 12 right so when you add 12 to 20 you'll get 32 and 32 plus 16 is 48 and 48 plus 20 is 68 where these numbers 12 16 and 20 are the multiples of 4 right so 4 into 3 4 into 4 and 4 into 5 therefore the previous number to be added should be 4 into 2 which is nothing but 8 8 should be added to the second number to get the third number right so which is the second number so it has to be 12 12 is the second number right so that 8 plus 4 becomes 12 where 4 is 4 into 1 Four is nothing but four into one, right? So here numbers added are the corresponding multiples of four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and twenty. Therefore, the second number in the given series should be twelve. Option C is the right answer. Question number thirty-nine. Select the set in which the numbers are related in the same way as the numbers of the given sets. Here, students, the operation should be performed on the whole numbers. You should not break break the number into its constituent digits. Like the operation, it may be any operation: addition, multiplication, division, or subtraction. Operation should be performed on the whole number thirteen. Right? We cannot take one and three separately. Right? And then performing. Uh, the mathematical operations is not allowed right therefore so we'll consider the first set we'll find the logic behind this right how these numbers are related right here the first number is 9 second one is 11 third one is 404 so we'll consider sum of first and second number or directly second number plus second number plus first number so which is 11 plus 9 the whole square right first number the whole square plus plus we'll consider second number minus first number the whole square right just take the difference between second and first number and square it right so you will get 11 plus 9 is 20 square 11 minus 9 is 2 it's a square becomes 400 plus 4 which is Four not four, which is third number. Therefore, the logic is second number plus first number the whole square plus second number minus first number the whole square gives you four. Four sorry, third number. Right. Similarly, in the second set, right, second number. So thirteen plus four is seventeen square plus thirteen minus four is nine square. Is equal to seventeen square is two eighty nine. Nine square is eighty one. Is equal to three hundred and seventy. Right. Now coming to the options. Among four options, we'll go for option A. Right. Apply the same logic here. So second number twelve plus eight plus first number the square 
plus second number minus first number the square right is equal to so 12 plus 8 is 20 square plus 12 minus 8 is 4 it's a square so it is uh, how much 400 plus 16 is equal to 416 right therefore first set of numbers follow the same logic hence option a is the right answer Question number 40. K percentage L means K is the mother of L. K at the rate L means K is the brother of L. K cap L means K is the son of L. And K hash L means K is the wife of L. If A at the rate B cap C hash D at the rate E, how is E related to A? So to represent these relationships, we use some symbols. So we use a circular symbol for all females. Let's use a square symbol for all males. Right? We use a horizontal line for siblings. Double horizontal line for married couple. Right? Married couple. Then, a vertical line or slightly slanted line for difference of generation. Difference of generation. Right? So here the question is A at the rate B. A at the rate means A is the brother of B. Right? First person is brother of second person. Right? Therefore, A and B are siblings. Right? A and B are siblings. We use a single horizontal line for siblings. Since first person is brother of second person. So first person is a male. Male. We use square symbol for males right moving further b cap c b cap c means first person is son of second person b is the son of c therefore difference of generation since b is the son b is a male right and c hash d c hash d means first person is wife of second person Therefore, C is wife of second person. So, C and D are married couple. Since C is wife, C is a female. Right? Use a circular symbol. Therefore, B is male. Right? D is, D is husband of C. Right? Moving further, D at the rate E. That means, at the rate means, so first person is brother of second person. Right? D is brother of E, that means D and E are siblings, right? So, D is brother of E, right? Therefore, right. So, anything else? Yes, D at the rate E, right? So, first person is brother of second person. Next, the, how is E related to A? E related to A. So, here for A, E becomes, so C is mother, right? So A's mother is C. For father is D, right? Father's sibling, right? Or father's brother here. According to four options, it is given as father's brother. E can be even father's sister also, right? It is not given exactly so e is related to a as father's brother option a is the right answer right so let us assume e is father's brother father's brother option a is the right answer students if you want to practice such questions from this paper please visit our website www.examsnet.com you can also download our app the link is given in the description box. Question number 41. Looking at a family photo, T pointed to M and said, his mother, Yen's husband, was brother P's mother, yes, is my wife. How is yes related to M? To represent this relationship, right, we use some symbols. So we use circular symbol for all females. We use a square symbol for all males. We use 
single horizontal line for siblings. Double horizontal line for married couple. Vertical line or slightly slanted line for difference of generation. Difference of generation. Right? So here, T pointed to M and said, so pointing towards M, T said, his mother, his mother means Yam's mother, right? His mother means Yam's mother, Yam's husband. Yam's mother means Yam is a male. His means Yam is male, right? Yam's mother, Yam's means Yam's mother is Yan. Yan is a female. Use a circular symbol, right? Yam's husband, O. Yam's husband is O. So these two are married couple. O is a male, right? Yan's husband O's brother is P, brother P's. O and P are siblings, use a single horizontal line. And P is a male because P is brother of O. P's mother, yes. P's mother is yes. So yes is female. Is my wife. My wife means T's wife because T is pointing towards M, right? Is my wife means T's wife. Therefore, yes and T are married couple. T is a male then. Right? Question is, how is yes related to yam? Yes and yam relation. Right? So, yes is related to yam as for yam, yes becomes father's mother. Right? So, O is father of yam. Right? So, O and P are siblings. These two are siblings. Their mother is yes. O's mother is yes. Right? So, for Yam, yes becomes father's mother. Father's mother. In other words, paternal grandmother. Right? Paternal grandmother. Option B. Question 42. In a code language, camel is coded as C-E-M-N-G. Tiger is coded as K-V-G-T-G. How will horse be coded in the same language? Right? So, we will consider the first word camel. Camel. Right? So, we will divide this word into three parts. Right? Here, C is coded as, right, E. Right? So, positional value of C is 3. Right? Plus 2 gives you Plus 2 gives you E. Whereas A is coded as A plus 2, which is a C. Right? And M is coded as it is, M itself. And when it comes to last two letters, we'll add 2 to E. You will get G. Right? E plus 2 is G. Right? 5 plus 2. And V is coded as V plus 2, which is X. Am I right? Sorry, C, camel, it is not V, it is L, L plus 2, L plus 2, L is how much 12, plus 2 is 14, which is N, right, C, E, M, N, G, camel is coded as C, E, M, N, G, similarly, tiger, right, so split the word, five letters word into three parts, right? So middle, middle letter will be coded as it is G itself in the word tiger. And first two letters and last two letters will be coded in the reverse manner, right? So here we'll consider the word horse, H-O-R-S-E. So middle letter will be coded as it is, R will be coded as it is. So H plus two. Right, H is 8 plus 2 is G, J, right, in the reverse manner, right. And O is coded as O plus 2, which is 17, which is Q, right. Now, yes, yes plus 2. So, yes is how much? S is 19 plus 2 is 21, which is U. And E plus 2 e is 5 plus 2 is 7, which is G. Therefore, horse is coded as Q, J, R, G, U, right. So, option D is the right answer.
क्वेश्चन फोर्टी थ्री विच लेटर क्लस्टर विल रिप्लेस द क्वेश्चन मार्क टू कंप्लीट द गिवन सीरीज सो विल कंसिडर द फर्स्ट क्लस्टर ए एफ सी एच वेरी इजी वन राइट एंड द नेक्स्ट क्लस्टर विल बी यू हैव टू फाइंड द सेकेंड क्लस्टर फॉर दैट विल कंसिडर विल कंसिडर द लास्ट थ्री क्लस्टर्स राइट लास्ट थ्री क्लस्टर्स ई जे जी एल and g l i n the logic behind this and i n k p right so consider the first letters right so between e and g we have a letter f between g and i we have a letter h right we will consider the second letters so after j we have how many letters j K L we have one letter K, right? After L we have M, right? So there is one letter between the two consecutive letters, right? So between G and I, consider the third letters, right? We have H, and between I and K we have J. We have M in between L and N. we have o between n and p right therefore to find the second cluster right so we have to write a letter after a after first letter so next cluster will be that means it starts with c right so that there is a letter d between c and e right so next is g after f we have g so second letter will be h and after c we have d so third letter will be e so after h we have i so fourth letter will be j you can verify the answer by considering the next cluster so after h we have i so next letter is j then after e we have f next letter is g after j we have k next letter is l therefore the second cluster is c h e j so c h e j option c question 44 select the figure from the options that can replace the question mark and complete the pattern right so here in the given question so here let us complete the center portion by completing this square portion right squared part let us complete this circular portion right and also we'll complete these lines this completes the given figure so among four options we have look at option b so we cannot take option d right so option b is the right answer which completes the given pattern right so option b Question forty five. Three of the following four letter clusters are alike in a certain way, and one is different. Pick the odd one out. Right here, the first cluster is M O N P. How these letters are related? We'll find. Right, M O N P. For our reference, I have written the positional values of each letter. So M is thirteen, O is fifteen. So I can write M plus two as O, and N is fourteen. I can write O minus one as N. And P is sixteen, N is fourteen, right? Their positional values are like this. So I can write N plus two as P, right? We'll consider the second cluster, J L K M, right? J L K and M, right? J is ten, L is twelve, so J plus two is L, and K is eleven, L is twelve, so L minus one is K. And M is thirteen, K is eleven, so K plus two is M, right? We'll consider third cluster F H G I F H G I, right? F is how much? F is six, H is eight, F plus two is H, right? So G is seven, so H minus one is G. And I is nine, G is seven, so G plus two is I, 
right so these three follow the same logic therefore option d is the odd one out here right so we'll verify it so p s q r p s q r so p is how much p is 60 s is 19 so we have to add 3 to the first letter right and to the second letter right s is how much is it 19 q is 17 so subtract 2 from s you will get q right and r is 18 q is 17 add 1 to q to get r therefore option d is the odd one out here therefore option d question 46 which of the following numbers will replace the question mark in the given series so first number is 109 second number is 113 Third number is 122. Fourth number is 147. Right? So, if we add 4 to one, first number, right? 109 plus 4 gives you 113. And 113 plus a number, so which is 9, gives you 122. Right? So, whereas 122 plus 25 will give you 147 right so here added numbers are 4 9 and 25 which are the speciality of these numbers are 4 is square of 2 9 is square of 3 and 25 is square of 5 where 2 3 and 5 are prime numbers consecutive prime numbers right these are consecutive prime numbers so prime numbers are the numbers which are divisible by one and the number itself one and the number itself number itself right so next prime number to five is seven right therefore the number to be added to the fourth number is a square of seven which is 49 so we have to add 49 to the fourth number therefore finally we'll get 180 196 am i right yes 196 is the fifth number in the given series right therefore these numbers added numbers to get the next number are squares of the consecutive prime numbers right therefore so option a is the right answer Question number 47. A person starts from point X and moves a 7 km towards the south. So, before going to the actual question, we will consider the directions now. Right? So, north, south, east, west. East and west. Right? He starts from point X. So, we will consider point X somewhere here. Right? And moves 7 km towards the south. So, we will consider 7 km towards the south. Like this. Right? 7 km towards south. Minute. So, person from X. Yes. Moves 7 km towards south. He then turns left. Since he is facing south, his left means towards east. He then turns left and moves 5 km. Right? So, he moves 5 km towards east. Right? He then takes right turn. Since he is facing east, his right means again towards south. He takes right turn and moves 5 km again. Right? He is moving 5 km again. This distance is 5 km. Right? He turns right then. Right? Since he is facing south, his right means towards west. Right? Turns right and moves 5 km to reach point Y. Right? So, to reach point Y, he moves 5 km again. This is point Y. Right? 
So now the question is how much and in which direction does it need to move now to reach point X. So again to reach point X he has to move in north direction right. So he has to move in north direction like this. How much he has to move? So this distance is 5 kilometer, right? From Y to P, for example, this point is P. So YP is, YP distance is 5 kilometer because which is parallel to this distance, which I am showing now, right? So 5 plus total distance, totally he has to move 7 plus 5 kilometers, right? To reach point X, right therefore in which direction he has to move in north direction right he has to move for 12 kilometers option a is the right answer question 48 select the option that is related to the fifth letter cluster in the same way as the second letter cluster is related to the first letter cluster and the fourth letter cluster is related to the third letter cluster right so here bright is written as R B T H G I, right? Here we'll consider B R I G H T, right? So bright is coded as or it is written as R B T H I, sorry G I. Here B R is written as R B in reverse manner. B is written in the second place and R is written in the first place, right? Whereas the third and fourth letters are written at last, right? So, which are written, which are written in the reverse manner, right? That is, instead of IG, we have to write GI. And last two letters are written in the reverse manner, right? So, T is written at first and H should be written at last, right? Therefore, RBTHGI. Similarly, the third and four, fourth letter clusters, right? Follow the same logic. Therefore, last cluster, to get the last cluster, so R, E, I, G, G, R, E, I, G, N, S. So, code for this is interchange the first two letters, R and E. So, we can write it as E, R, right? So, in place of third and fourth letters, bring fifth and sixth letters. Interchange their positions, right? So, we can write it as S and N. And I and G, right, are written as G and I. Therefore, E, R, S and G, I is the code for the last question, right? E, R, S and G, I. So, look at the options. S and G, I, option D. Question number 49. Which of the following in interchange of signs would make the given equation correct? Right. So, let us go for option A. If we interchange divi division sign and subtraction sign, right, whether it balances the equation or not, that we need to check. Right. So, we'll interchange division and subtraction signs. So, it becomes 87 minus 3 becomes divided by 3 plus 39 will be as it is divided by 67 becomes minus 67 into 3 right should be equal to minus 133 right we'll check whether it is equal to minus 133 or not according to board mass rule right so while solving any mathematical equation or expression we should go for board mass rule first remove the bracket part b stands for bracket part O stands for off part. There is no bracket to remove. There is no off part here. Right? Directly go for division. 87 by 3 is. So, 3 into 2 is 6. 3 into 9 is 20. So, 29 plus 39 minus 67 into 3. After the division part, go for multiplication. So, 29 plus 39 minus 67 into 3. So, you will get 180 and 201, right? Whereas 29 plus 39 is 68. 68 minus 201 gives you so one minus 133, 
right therefore if we interchange division and subtraction signs in the given equation it balances right therefore option a is the right answer question number 50 select the set in which the numbers are related in the same way as are the numbers of the following sets here is a note that should not perform the mathematical operations on dividing the given number into two or more numbers right you should not break down the given number into that means separately single digits for example 49 right you should not perform the mathematical operations on 4 and 9 separately this operation should be on the whole number whole number 49 right therefore considering the given set of numbers first set is 166 13 and 4 are the given three numbers right so first number is 166 so second number is second number is 13 and the third number is third number is 4 so this second number 13 is obtained by subtracting 3 from square of the second number right so square of 4 is 16 minus 3 will give you 13 similarly the second set of numbers 2113 so 46 and 7 are the numbers where 46 is nothing but 49 minus 3 we are subtracting number 3 from another number where 49 is a square of third number right 7 square minus 3 therefore second number can be written as so third number square square of third number minus three very simple logic right so among four options which option follows the same logic so we'll consider first option so there is no need of considering the first number right so these second and third numbers are nowhere related to first number so avoiding the first number we'll consider option a so 97 is first number second number is 33 third number is 11 this second number should be equal to third number square minus 3 whether it is equal to third number square so 11 square is 121 minus 3 so which is not equal to which is equal to 100 and 118 so 33 is not equal to 118 so option a doesn't follow this logic we'll consider option b option b first number so it, which is independent of the remaining two numbers second number is 22 third number is 5 so where second number should be equal to so third number so square minus 3 so 5 square is 25 minus 3 is 22 therefore therefore the second set of numbers right option b follows the logic where second number is equal to third number square minus 3 therefore option b is the right answer Students, if you want to practice such questions from this paper, please visit our website www.examsnet.com. You can also download our app. The link is given in the description box.